All right, so welcome to day five of Vacation Bible School. And today we're going to learn about the Ten Commandments. So the Israelites had been given manna and quail, and now God was going to give them some commands to follow in order to live correctly. So our story starts with Moses, and he is going up a mountain called Mount Sinai. So the people of Israel set up camp at the foot of Mount Sinai, where God had first called Moses to be their leader. Moses climbed the mountain to be alone and quiet so that God could speak to him. Do you ever want to go somewhere by yourself too, just so you can kind of think about things or just kind of have it nice and quiet? I do too. When God talked to Moses on Mount Sinai, he gave him many laws for the people to keep. Because God is our maker, he knows best what will make us happy. If the Israelites obeyed his laws, they would live happily together. Some of the laws gave to Moses were important for people living at that time, but many of them were for all people everywhere. The best known of these are called the Ten Commandments. The first five tell us the right way to treat God. Number one, do not worship other gods. In those days, people had many gods and goddesses, as they did in Egypt. Today, people may give all their love and loyalty to money or success. God taught us that he alone is God and maker of all. He is fit to be worshipped. Commandment number two, do not make idols to worship. The Israelites might have well thought it was a good idea to make an image to represent God or something beautiful and life-giving like the sun or something strong like a bull. But God knew that when people make an image, they begin to worship the image itself. They forget that God is greater than anything they could make or imagine. Commandment three, do not take God's name in vain. I think this one is a big one because I hear this on the TV a lot. God's name stands for God himself. No one must use it as a swear word or promise in God's name to do something and then go back on their word. They must show reverence for God by treating his name with respect. So like at school sometimes, you might not hear people say his name in a swear word, but they might say like, I swear to God or OMG, like, oh my God. And we need to treat his name with respect. Commandment four, keep the Sabbath day holy. Holy means separate or apart. The seventh day or the Sabbath day must be set aside, especially for God. It was intended to be a day for learning about him and worshiping him. It was also to be a happy holiday, even when the animals had a rest from work. Commandment five is respect your parents. God made families and put parents in charge of their children. Their duty to God includes showing care and respect for your parents. So whenever your parents tell you to do something, you shouldn't back talk, but you should do it quickly and efficiently. The first five of the Ten Commandments are about loving and obeying God. The last five are about loving others. To love others means to treat them as we would like to be treated and to do nothing that would harm them. For example, commandment number six is do not murder. It's wrong to kill out of anger, spite, or cruelty, or in order to get money. To me, that was kind of a easy one to remember. Number seven, do not commit adultery. God's plan was that a husband and wife would belong to each other for as long as they lived. To commit adultery means to love someone else's husband or wife like your own, and God says this is wrong. Number eight, do not steal. No one has the right to take anything that belongs to someone else. I know in school sometimes it's kind of hard to borrow somebody's pencil and you might forget to give it back. You didn't steal it, but if you go and take their pencil on purpose, then that's breaking the commandment. Number nine, do not tell lies about others. No one must tell lies about someone when he is on trial in a court of law. It's also wrong to tell lies about people behind their backs. And then number 10, do not covet. To covet means to want something that belongs to someone else so badly that you're really jealous of them. 
An Israelite might look at someone's house or donkey and think how much nicer it is than their own. God said he was not to be jealous or try to take them for themselves. When God had finished speaking, he told Moses he would give him two stone tablets with his laws engraved on them. Then the people would know that these were God's own laws. All right, so for the last part of your crafts this week, you will find in your book bag, I call this a trust card. So if I unfold it, it spells out the word trust. So you can draw pictures of Moses and the Israelites and things you learned, or you might draw pictures to kind of help you remember the Ten Commandments. So using God's name respectfully, not coveting other people's things, not stealing, not telling lies. Completely up to you to the way that you want to color this. And if you want to grab your Bible, then you can continue reading about Moses and the Israelites and see exactly what happened to them. Did they go back to be slaves since they were mad that God hadn't provided them enough food at the very beginning of the desert? Or did they go to the land of Canaan and get everything that God had planned for them?